Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm not wearing a hat. I'm just going to sport the crazy hair. Uh, we're going to talk about my big bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. All of that jewelry I bought, the 344 pounds, I'm going to tell you what sold in May. Now, there's not a ton because I really haven't listed that much yet, but there are some major well, I think they're major. I think they're pretty fantastic bolos. So let's get started. Um, for those of you that are new to the, blah, 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 new to the channel, um, I'm going to show you here what I'm talking about. So if you go and watch this video right here, I bought a junk drawer lot on eBay to sell on eBay. You can see where I go and meet the gal that I bought it from in the parking lot of a um, Gabriel Brothers and I unload it from her car. And you guys can see how big of a haul it was. And then I also weigh it. I had no clue how much um, it was all gonna weigh. So it ended up being 344 pounds, almost 350 pounds, absolutely crazy. So I'm doing unboxings and um, I'm doing some uh, gemstone testing. I have Moonstone Mamas that comes on and helps me identify stones. So lots of videos in this series. And um, this is under the playlist. I'm trying to remember what I called it. Um, jewelry unbo unboxing video series. So if you go and check that out, um, you can see some of the other videos. So very, very fun, very, very cool, super excited about it. Now, wait until you see the first one, it's definitely a bolo. Okay, so these were not in good condition. My husband had to clean them up for me, but they ended up selling for a best offer. I did take a best offer of $85 plus shipping, and these did go internationally. But this is, um, let me see, right here is the symbol that you're looking for. It says YSL, and then it says made in, oh, I can't remember. Let me see, I think I've got it down here. Did I not? Oh, made in France. Yeah, and it says that on them also. So very, very cool. When If you would have seen them before, um, I don't know if I saved the picture to my phone. Let me see if I did because they were in horrible condition. I might be able to show you guys. I just deleted some pictures because I've been listing a lot of stuff. So I may have deleted it. I think I did. Oh, nope. I got it. Okay. So those don't look too bad. But uh, let me get back here and I'll see if I can show you guys. So there's actually two pair, and if you look, um, the hearts don't look too bad, but the other ones, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like got this green gunk in it. I mean, they were in horrible condition, and those sold also, so I'm going to show you guys that next. That's my next bolo. All right, so yeah. So he, I don't know, he put them in an ultrasonic cleaner and then I, he probably scrubbed them. I have no idea, but they were really bad. So that pair went for $85, buyer paid shipping, and it went internationally. And then I sold this pair for $55. This is the other pair in the picture. And again, they've got the same markings. And, you know, you would think that I, I, I was shocked at how well they cleaned up because they look fantastic. So yeah, must be a really high-end expensive brand. So I sold those for 55 plus shipping. This is a vintage carved mother of pearl brooch. And I used Google images and I took a picture and it pulled up similar images. And that is how I was able to come up with my title. So this one sold for $35 plus shipping. And I've been using this little tool so that I can measure it so people know how big the item is and it's working out really good for photos so and it was pretty cheap 
The next item is this Lane Bryant watch. It was also in this lot. I sold it for $25 plus shipping. And then these cute little earrings. This is just a great bread and butter item. I took a best offer of $12. And I had them like sitting on here, but I don't think you could really see like the color as well as you could with me holding them. So that is why I use this as my main photo. I know it's kind of weird to have my hands in the picture, but I mean, there's so much more detail that you can see with that background. So if anybody has any tips for how to get like um, a better picture with a white background, please let me know. These weren't marked. They were just simple earrings that just happened to sell on eBay. I'm really actually surprised. Um, because there wasn't any key word that you would think that people would really be drawn to. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how they found them, but they sold. So I'm pretty happy about that. This one just sold. It's super, super cute. It's an elephant bangle bracelet and it's got the gold and silver tones. And you can see here, I put the measurements and it's really, really cute. And then I also show it on my wrist. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Roman vintage crystal necklace and earrings. And it says 18 inch right here. At first, I thought it said $18.99 for some reason. That's what my mind thought. But um, yeah, it's a cute set. And it sold super fast. And I sold it for $40 with free shipping. So really cute set. And it was new in the package. All right, these are Stella and Dot earrings and um, sold super fast, I think within 24 hours. And they, I thought they had backs, but come to find out these are not the backs that came with it. So the person messaged me and they're like, do you have the backs? And I'm like, I thought those were the backs. So again, I'm still learning about jewelry. They were super nice. They left me positive feedback, but I guess these are just like to put behind the backs to keep the backs on. I don't know. But anyway, she was really, really kind and left me awesome feedback. And I, I'm very thankful that she did that and she was forgiving of it. But I did have it in the photo. I don't know. My mistake. I will know for next time. Lesson learned. They sold for $20 free shipping. The next item um, these are missing backs. They do have the new tag, um, but they're missing the backs. And a lot of the earrings are missing backs or have mismatched backs or um, maybe the wrong backs. I don't know. But they still sold super fast for $16 with free shipping. And I put still has tag, but backs are missing. The next item is this crafter's lot. This is all crafters items. Nothing is wearable. They're just items that can be used for crafts. It's 12 pounds. Um, there may have been some that was just really tangled that I gave up on. I can't remember if these bags had that or not, but it's basically two bags full, 12 pounds, which 12 pounds is a lot of jewelry. Some of it could have been repaired. So it's basically repair, repurpose, damage, broken, tangled items. I took a best offer of $80 on this and they left me great feedback and I paid the shipping. So not a huge profit by the time Mercari takes their 10% and I pay the shipping, but um, it's a great deal for the buyer. I think that they'll do really well with this and I made money, so I'm excited also. All right, the next item is this Betsy Johnson ring. It's um, it's a bulldog ring, kind of fun. And it is pre-owned. And I do think it's more, I don't want to say it's like vintage, but it is an older item. And it sold for $18 with free shipping. So those are my solds for May. Again, not a crazy amount of sales, but I made really good money on quite a few things. So I'm super excited about that. And if you guys want to know what I paid for the entire lot, you can go check out the video where I weigh it. And I give you all the information of how I got 344 pounds off of eBay. It wasn't listed on eBay as 344 pounds. So if you guys want to know the mystery behind how I got all of that jewelry, um, definitely go check that out. 
So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.